Hello and welcome to the ninth video of the Frequently Asked Questions. And this is how do I design my lighting and is there design help? So designing is um, pretty simple if you have simple houses. So here in Texas, a lot of the houses, um, you have the front door and then you have like two, one or two windows on each side of the door. So you put one of these spotlights on each side of the door in the flower bed and then each side of the windows. And that's, that's how you do the house. And then for the trees, a good rule of thumb is you use one light for every small tree. And then a medium tree, you have of two lights. And then larger trees, you want three. You could probably get away with two, but you probably should get three. So that's a good rule of thumb. Walkways, pathways, anywhere where you can put the path light like this, not in the grass, but like in a flower bed or something like that. That is a really good thing to do. Um, and then you want to put them about 10 to 12 feet apart. You don't want them really close because it kind of looks like a really weird runway of, of lights. So um, backyards are a lot harder because everyone's has a different backyard. So you usually want to light up the trees and put lights in the flower beds. You're probably good with, I don't know, 80 to 100 percent of what you need. Sometimes you if you have like retaining walls, you can put hardscape lights. We have all of this in, in our uh, lighting kit that you could purchase. Don't overcomplicate the design and don't try to get super fancy. Just do what you know will work. And so if you have a house where you know that you can put lights on each side of the door and windows and on each of the trees and a couple lights in the flower bed and then just stick with that then you can always add to it later don't try to get super into trying to get all these different types of lights um, so as for design help my course I have a whole section dedicated to showing you examples of good lighting bad lighting designs um, what you should do good rules of thumb um, examples of my lighting. I think I even have example of other DIYers. I can't remember if I do or not, um, but I have a lot in the course. And then you can get my design help as well. And so you send me a form um, with a couple pictures and I'll send you a video back showing you what I would do and the design that, that would probably look best. Hopefully this gave you a, a better idea of the design and then some resources and with that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.